Hey guys, how's it going? Happy? It's actually Sunday and I actually know what day it is. Why do I know what day it is? Because I was naughty and I didn't go to church today because I woke up late. Long story short. Hold on. Ugh. Excuse me. I'm missing my water bottle. So I'm drinking out of my shaker because before my workout, I just did, um, Another one of my Tybo amps, which reminds me, um, I need to get my label maker out. It really helps. I don't know if you guys are like me and you have like 700,000 workout DVDs for home. But, you know, sometimes, um, especially with something like Tybo, I always remember, obviously, if I do something like Insanity, that it is um, crazy cardio, right? There's some things that I like to remember, um, you know, what some of my workouts, like a lot of the beach body workouts, are only half an hour or some of them are just like working on your core and they're not really like a cardio workout or anything so it really helps me especially when I get something you guys know when I first injured my shoulder and I knew I could only do cardio in lower body I was like might as well get some cardio in and I really started doing um, Tybo again because with Insanity there was a lot of upper body movement and I couldn't do it so I started doing Tybo again but it really helps me especially when I've done a workout, like for the first time. You know, this one has Jumpstart Cardio, Fat Burn Accelerator, uh, Amped Bonus Live in LA, Core Express. You know, sometimes looking at one of these, I mean, it does say the time on it, approximately 41 minutes, approximately 50 minutes. This one, it looks like I've done 53 minutes. Um, I am at, you can see, um, 414 calories, and then I'm about to, um, I'm about to do weights and some core um, because I'm back at it. But anyway, it really helps me when I'm finished um, to write down, to use my little label maker. I'm trying to think of where else I've done this. I think I showed you guys, but a little tip for you guys at home. Um, like here, you know, I did this one and I put four stars. You know, for me, I'll give a cardio workout five stars if it's crazy, like insanity, and I'm like dripping with sweat. As you can see, I'm not like dripping with sweat. I have a nice sweat going on. My um, heart rate was right about, I'd say between 130. A lot of the times it was like right around 130 to like 147, which to me is kind of like, not that I'm trying to reach a fat burning zone, but I remember when Jay, my trainer, um, uh, analyzed my, you know, they took my body fat percentage. I mean, this has been a year or so ago. He said, you know, right around 150 is my fat burning zone, right? So anyway, like this one, I remember if I do this four stars Now I didn't put the time on this, but this is about an hour. Now I remember that this is going to be about a 500 calorie burner. Um, physique 57, you know, I don't even have to tell myself this one's about an hour and it's intense. It's killer. Um, some of my other ones, like I remember this, I really liked this one. I haven't done this in a while. I haven't labeled this, but I do remember this was a lot, surprisingly, a lot harder than I anticipated. Um, and this was pretty intense. I think I might take this out to do this week. Plus, he's kind of yummy. Hello. Um, anyway, a couple of things. So I just finished this. Um, this is one of the uh, Tybo amps that uses the little amplifier bar, which I have to tell you two things. Number one, using these workouts is really working your upper body. It's surprising. I don't know how much that amplifier bar weighs, but you are really like, you're up here a lot and you're using your upper body a lot. There were several times where I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So it's killer. Mr. Flow, starting to feel better because I'm finally working out. Ooh, we're looking a little weak on that side. Um, I haven't worked out with weights, you guys. Realistically, let's be, be honest. It's probably been to have solid upper body workouts for me. It's been three months um, since really, I think I started to go to physical therapy in uh, November. So anyway, just starting to hit it hard now and feeling better. I still feel something in my shoulder, but I can sleep on it. Um, and then if there's a certain way that I'm moving it where it really hurts, the only time I really notice it is in like an overhead press movement. So I'm going to have uh, Steve, Steve Feaster from, you know, he's one of my um, Fitfluential ambassadors. And he's the one that kind of sat down with me when we were in New York, tested all the ways I was moving in. And he was the one that told me to start working out with weights and that it would help me get better instead of being so scared and whatever. So he's the one that really I give credit to for helping me get better. I'm going to see if he can do a, um, a video kind of explaining what he was saying to me. And he hopefully will be with us when we go down to Austin and we'll shoot some more videos with his sassy self. Um, also, I took this out. 
I don't know why. Forgive me, I'm all over the place as usual. This is what I took before the workout. So I'm totally doing the um, Genetics HD, which basically it's this powder that stinks bad <laughs> before you put it in your water. So you put a scoop of this powder in your shaker before you, um, before you do your workout. And then there is these. You take this, this pack of um, stimulant-free metabolic amp amplifier complex uh, once a day or twice a day, depending on what you want. Since I just started, I'm taking it once a day. I don't want to go nutty. And then I'm also taking this once, oh, excuse me, I think this is three times a day or two times a day. Forgive me, as a dietary supplement, take three tablets daily. So yeah, I'm taking this three times a day. Ideally, I'm trying to take it when I take my vitamins, which is done with meals. But I'm on it, you guys. I'm never, ever, ever, ever going back to not taking my vitamins, ever. Um, but I also, remember I mentioned that I went to the store and I bought some different laughing cow flavors, which I had no idea they had. Um, they didn't send these to me, I bought these myself. They have this flavor, queso, fresco, chipotle, mozzarella, sun-dried tomato and basil, and French onion. Now, I will tell you, I tried this one. Um, I'll try it again. I, I wasn't wowed by this. It just seemed to have a funny texture to me. Um, actually, I'll try it again while I'm yapping with you. No. No, I'm not. I'm going to try it again later. No, I'll try it now. Um, but I don't know why. It wasn't like it was gross or anything, but I remember going, hmm. Actually, now that I'm having it, it's not that bad. It's not, uh, I mean, it's not a real strong, do I really taste? It's very subtle. It's not like a crazy cheesy, excuse me, it's not a crazy queso tasting. It tastes to me like the regular Laughing Cow, which I love, with a little kick. There's a little like delayed kick. Very, very subtle. 35 calories, you guys. Again, I just bought these myself, so they didn't send them to me. But I love Laughing Cow. Um, I'm also going to be making my turkey meatballs. Um, I think I just wanted to point out to you guys a lesson that I learned. Um, especially for those of us that are trying to lose weight. Maybe you're at your last 10 pounds, you're at your last 20 pounds. Um, it always gets harder as you get closer to your goal. I think many of you know that. <laughs> I certainly know it. If you know my story, you know that I've been kind of staying at the exact same weight for the past two years. A lot of that is, is my fault with, you know, kind of trying too many things, not sticking with anything. And not really eating a ton of junk food, but not sticking with anything. And, you know, too many things like being on the road and having airport food and, you know, stuff like that. It's all the details that count, especially when you're 42 like me and in perimenopause, which just jacked your body. You got to watch the details. I remember when I first was making, and before I was kind of counting my calories and watching things, um, journaling my diet in Fit Day. I use Fit Day. There's so many different applications you can use that are free um, to journal your food. But I remember once I started using that and I was telling my friend Jessica um, what my percentages were and my fat percentages were really high. And she's like, where are you getting all your fat? And there were two things. See how this says, and, and it doesn't matter what brand you're talking about, you guys. It's Jenny O, there's other, whatever. Um, there's extra lean and lean. And the difference between extra lean per serving size, like this has 1.5 grams of fat versus I think the, ex, the, the lean might have something like five or six. It's not that it's like you're eating deep fried Oreos, okay? That's not it. And the goal I think we all know is not to go fat free. But what happened when I really looked at my diet is that I was using sugar-free creamer, which has um, more fat in it. If you look at things that are fat-free, they tend to have more sugar. If things are sugar-free, they tend to have more fat. So you've just got to be aware of everything. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not saying go sugar-free or fat-free, maybe find a balance, whatever. But you do have to watch because you're either going to, if you're not aware of everything, you're going to jack up your sugar or you're going to jack up your fat. And all of the details count. Now, I'm not here to argue. I was just rereading Jackie Warner's book and she says, fat doesn't make you fat, sugar makes you fat. Um, some people will say fat makes you fat. Some people will say, of course, we know healthy fats like avocado and nuts and blah, blah, blah. You know, that's the, the good fat, right? Long story short, when I had all of this, um, when I first started counting my calories, I think I was at like 35% fat for the day. And you know where it was coming from? It was coming from my coffee made creamer, 
excuse me, because in the morning I was having, you guys know, you've seen the size of my cup. I have like one cup of coffee in the morning. Sometimes in the winter I tend to have a big cup at night. Wow, I'm at 10 minutes already. Doesn't take much. <gasps> oh, I thought I lost my special button. Um, I, I was having a lot of fat in my, uh, sh at that time I was using sugar-free creamer. Um, and so I found that, and I've measured this out so I know exactly what I'm, I'm putting in my coffee. I tend to use, uh, if I'm using the sugar-free creamer, it's about 150 uh, to 175 calories. Same thing for if I'm using fat-free, um, but one has um, a lot more fat in it. So I tend to, I've, right now I'm using fat-free because I found that if I had two cups of coffee a day, it was jacking up my fat percentages so high, and I'm like, I don't want my fat to come from that. You know what I'm saying? It's not that it's perfect that I'm having coffee made creamer, but Let's pick our battles. So I use fat-free for that. And then again, with stuff like this, um, if you're making a whole meatloaf and dividing it up, you know, the calories and the fat, it's a lot different. Actually, I think if you get like the versions of these that are just called lean, this is 120 calories a serving. Those tend to be like 170 or 190. It adds up, you guys. Um, this makes the difference between one of your um, turkey meatloaf muffins being, you know, 100 calories versus 150. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're trying to lose weight and every little calorie counts and you're trying to stay, say, 1,200 to 1,500 calories, you got to watch every little thing. You can't just be unlimited and go, oh, it's healthy. Trust me, you can't do that. Um, so I'm going to make those a little bit later today. But anyway, had a really good workout, feeling good. Um, I'm feeling better from my pre-whooping cough. As you can tell, I'm starting to sound normal. Um, thank you for asking. I'm making sure I'm getting um, my sleep. I'm taking my vitamins. I will be taking my vitamins and preaching all the time for all of us to take our vitamins. In fact, if you guys have a second, join us on Twitter on Tuesday night with GNC. Um, I asked them to do this with us. Look for the live well now hashtag, hashtag live well now. Um, join us. I believe we're doing this at 8 p.m. Central. All of our Fitfluential Twitter chats are always at 8 p.m. Central. Normally they will not be on a Tuesday night, um, but this time we're doing it on a Tuesday night and we're going to do like a Q&A um, with Kelly from GNC on how do you know what vitamins to take? You know, should I be taking vitamin A, B, C, D, um, magnesium, glucosamine, fish oil? I mean, some people just don't know what to take and I think that you should be very careful in choosing what you're taking, how much you're taking instead of being random. Um, so we're gonna host that chat on, again, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Join us, Live Well Now on Twitter. I'll be there, GNC Kelly will be there um, and I'm sure we'll be giving away some prizes so maybe some of you might win the women's, some of you might win the men's. Um, that sounded wrong. Anyway, I gotta go finish up my workout. You guys have a great Sunday and uh, I'm definitely going tanning later on today. Have a good one.